Up north, it looks like winter's already here. Yeah, closer to the metro, we've escaped the flakes over the past three days of rain. And that had some viewers wondering, how much snow would that be? Good question. Heather Brown took this one to Chris. Terrible weather. Yeah, it's not great. Until we finally start to dry out, it'll, it'll come. Yeah, it's a good day to sit around and eat ice cream. So by the time this is all over, it will have rained for three days. How about that? How much snow would that be? That's a scary thought, actually. Some people really enjoy this weather. It's cozy. When I go back to my student days, which was a long time ago. <laughs> uh, we used to look at uh, rainfall to snow ratios roughly as a 10 to 1. So if you had an inch of rainfall, you would have 10 inches of snow. Meteorologists know that because after the storms, the record keepers melt the snow that falls into their gauge and measure it. There was a man um, in a ditch on the side of the road. This past January 22nd storm brought down 12.4 inches of snow, which is 1.03 inches of water. Is it always a 10 to 1? Not always. That's a pretty good estimate if you're dealing with temperatures, say, from 28 degrees and warmer. If it gets colder, the ratio goes up. For example, it was 14 to 1 when the temps were in the low 20s during the April blizzard. The ratio can get as high as 20 to 1. How come we don't really see that many 20 inch snowstorms, but we see a lot of one inch rainstorms? A lot of it, too, has to do with the systems. Like in the cold of winter, a lot of our flow brings in those Alberta clippers, uh -huh. which is generally a drier air mass. There just isn't as much moisture. So we're less likely to get a big snowfall. It's the ones that come up from the south generally that are bringing all of that Gulf moisture. Mm -hmm. That also brings up the milder air mass. Different temperatures will bring down different shaped snowflakes. They look more like these when when it's warm and these when it's cold. When it's light, there's more air content and that allows it to stack up more. A lot of spots have just been soaked these last couple of days, almost two inches from Glen. So let's just be grateful it's not the middle of January. Yes. Heather Brown, WCCO 4 News.